We are about to travel for two hours and 40 minutes by Uber, shuttle, boat, and by foot just to see one of Central America's best kept secrets, Lake Atitlan. But first, we have to say a sad goodbye to Mexico. We spent the last few weeks in Mexico exploring different parts. We started off in Puerto Vallarta where we had an amazing time. We then moved on to Mexico City where we spent four days exploring the city center, Xochimilco, and the pyramids of Teotihuacan. If you haven't seen those videos, we highly recommend you check them out. But now it's time to move on to Mexico's neighbor to the south, Guatemala. Good morning guys, we are here in Mexico City and unfortunately we're actually leaving Mexico City and changing locations over to Guatemala. So the next destination is Guatemala City and Guatemala will be country number two. Uh, we have a little bit of time to spare and we're really hungry trying to save a little bit of money so we're actually going to hit the airport lounge for some breakfast and then we'll be on our way to Guatemala. So country number two, here we come. trip is done and now it's time to actually get to our flight but if you look everybody's lined up over here there's probably like 45 ish minutes until the boarding time and i don't understand why because we keep seeing this in mexico that people love to line up but anyway when in rome do as the romans do right <laughs> or don't do as the romans do but yeah guys uh, next up is guatemala We officially made it, but guess what? It's raining, yeah. it's gonna be raining all week, and I don't know what we're gonna be doing. Probably just staying home and editing, <laughs> but at least we're in a new city, and it feels good. our channel do not pay attention to this dot in my forehead I can explain so today we are taking a two hour and 40 minute journey to swim in the largest lake and the deepest lake in Central America so we are going from Guatemala City to Lake Atitlan but this journey will be one for the books so first we have to get a shuttle well we first got to get an uber to a shuttle bus that will take us to Antigua to Panajachel and then we'll make our way to Lake Atitlan where we'll be staying for two days just to swim in that lake guys so ready for this journey let's go see Panajachel gracias So we're going to Panajachel direct, thankfully because uh, they're really the only passengers and one more other person in front of us, so that's it. into the journey and we just made our first stop for gas you can already see how much um, the views have changed from the city and out here it is incredibly like breathtaking we can see the mountains in the background it's like totally picturesque but we still have an hour and a half left to go um, the drive hasn't been so bad so far the road is very windy which we kind of read about so we kind of expected that we fell asleep, we saw cows, we saw <laughs> we saw it all so far, but we were still excited to eventually get to the destination. One thing I wanted to note was that we paid a total of $65 for both of us to get here and $65 to get back. So the round trip altogether was like $130 for both of us. There are cheaper options to get here though. You can take the chicken bus. I don't remember the exact price, but we didn't want to take the chicken bus. We wanted to be as comfortable as possible for this ride. And I think the chicken bus makes a lot of stops because it's more local. So we took a shuttle. So we just got our first little views of the lake and it's definitely, definitely worth the trip. It is completely majestic and I'm not even exaggerating. It's completely beautiful. 
I've actually never seen something like this in my life before. Have you? Not at all. It's like, I don't know. Definitely, like they said, it's one of the most beautiful lakes in the world. I can already see why. And yeah. we haven't even gotten there yet. All right, we are finally in Panajachel and we are going to be taking our boat. So we had the option of taking oh, oh the- Oh my God, I see the mountain back there. Yeah, so we had oh the option- Hold on. All right, <laughs> I'm sorry. We had the option of taking a private boat for 125 or a public boat for 25 each, but that means we have to wait a little bit. They said maybe like a half hour. So we're I going- I can't believe it. So we'll be going with the public option because we're here with the people, for the people. By the know, people. By the people too. So yeah, so uh, we'll see how this goes. But this is an impressive view. Wow. So we are going to Andrew. That's the name of our boat. And we'll be going somewhere, I think, over here. But I'm just not sure yet. Oh, we have some fellow passengers already. So this is your boat for this today. This is my boat? This is I your boat. I can't believe that we're here. I literally cannot believe that we're here. It's still like unreal to me. I know. Woo! Maybe not yet. I'm not getting in that. <laughs> I need you to hold my hand. All right, let me get in there first. And just put it down. All right, come. Okay, so we are on the snow boat for a 15 minute ride to Santa Cruz La Laguna and then we're gonna check into our hostel. Yeah, three cerveza. Yeah, this is our very first time staying in a hostel, so I don't know what to expect, but we got the private edition, so let's see how this goes. Guess what, guys? We made it. So we finally made it to Santa Cruz La Laguna, and we're about to go. I, I was gonna say log in to our log in. <laughs> log in to our Airbnb. We're about to go check into our Airbnb. Not sure how far it is from the docks, but that was my first like mini boat ride. I've never had a boat ride to an island. Before. Yeah. Technically, it's mainland, but you can most likely get here by boat because it's easier. So. All right, so there is a map right here, and I have no idea where we're going. We're going here. Oh, we're going here, guys. And That's what here. I said. That's what I said. And we're here. So technically, we can walk, but I've always wanted to take one of these. So guess what we're taking? What are we taking? Tenemos caminar, sí. No es fácil. Oh, that's it? That's it. They're playing Afrobeats here. But anyway, so the Tuk Tuk's... Yeah, but still Afrobeats. But listen, we are going to be walking because our Tuk Tuk driver said it's not possible. Don't worry, we can come back and take a Tuk Tuk somewhere else. Okay, just to get the experience. I have to take a Tuk Tuk before I leave this island. It's not an island. I mean, this mainland. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go guys. I'm already seeing signs in English, which is kind of weird, but hey, let's get going. We're going on a trip. I'm so excited, guys. Yeah. This, I actually picked this place out, so. Yeah? Do you remember what happened last time you picked out a place? Never mind about that. <laughs> Don't worry about that, honey. All right, wow, look at this walk, though. How do you feel being chosen by that guy? place is full of flies but full of flies and mosquitoes but this is the first time we've ever done anything like this yeah this is our house for tonight guys literally never seen it's something like this before and the toilet is like right over there which it's an outside toilet and the shower too and the shower 
Oh, that means we can shine together. Can <laughs> we open our door? Oh, man. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be home for the next two nights, tonight and tomorrow night. So we have an entire day to spend here tomorrow because we got here today and we're kind of beat. Yeah. So we wanted to have a full day of uh, Lake Atitlan experience. And here you can see the bedroom. Yeah. And that, that's it. That's our house. That's it, guys. That's our house tour. The end of the tour. <laughs> This holds the key to our personal belongings. <laughs> Can you believe it? Not really, but hey, I don't know. Isn't the shower in the bathroom? This. No, this is toilet. The toilet. Yeah, the toilet. The toilet. Oh, okay. That's actually nowhere near as bad as I imagined. Yeah, <laughs> I, I thought it was just going to be a hole in the floor. Yep, it's, the it's, toilet it's reasonable. Really Anyways guys, this is our first time staying at a hostel, so we actually came very unprepared. We did not know what to expect. Did you? You found it on Instagram, that's all I know. I found it on Instagram. <laughs> so far, you planned the whole Guatemala trip, so... <laughs> I found it on Instagram. I must say that I'm kind of looking forward-ish to the experience. But at the same time, I'm here for Mr. Atitlan. So. I, thought, I thought you were a city girl. I'm originally a city girl, of course, by nature, but now I'm just in the nature. Oh, you know? okay. Yeah. How do you feel? You think you can stay here for tonight? I mean, we don't have a choice at this point. Yeah, Simmons can sleep on a rock for tonight, so we'll be okay. We'll be okay, guys. And oh, I was supposed to tell you the story about this. You want to tell it right now? Yeah. So, well, somebody went to the bathroom, so move away from okay, that. Yeah. <laughs> I guess quick update so we're all checked in dropped off our stuff and the next thing is we're actually gonna go check out the town that we just came from because it actually looks pretty interesting and we'll be hanging out at this uh, little hostel crowd a little bit later because we're gonna be having dinner there but for now we're gonna check out the town see what it has to offer and go from there Okay, so I found this place on Instagram because they, um, their uh, popular thing about them is that they give away free beer from 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock, but that's not the reason why we came here. We don't, we don't drink, drink so. <laughs> so for us, it's kind of like pointless for that aspect, but for everything else, it should be okay for what we want to do here, right? I think so. Yeah. Well, let's go see the town. dogs than people here yes. um, it's very noticeable for us because we're scared of dogs so uh, the tuk -tuk coming back tuk -tuk's coming down the racetrack and I think the people here are always they always seem to be dressed in traditional wear which I think is so cool and the plots and materials that they use to put together the dresses mm. is just something that I've never seen before we're not going to venture up there because there are dogs up there so, I don't think they're doing anything. I think they're just minding their own business. You want to walk up there? We can. All right, we're going to walk up there to see if we can find anything.
It's okay, I'll do it. It's okay. Alright. Anyways. So it's the next morning. It's the next morning and boy, we didn't know what we signed up for. The sleep wasn't that bad. Timmy said it's the best sleep he got since we <laughs> since we've been anywhere. But for me, I woke up at four, couldn't go back to sleep. But if you want to brush your teeth or use the toilet, we have to go outside. So the flies already started acting up. So let's go brush. Stop. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah. So this is where we showered last night, actually. Oh, those socks are still up there on the corner right there. Yeah. So this is where we showered and they actually have hot water unbelievable but they do and there's like one two three four showers in here and i don't know this is indoor outdoor living more outdoor than indoor there's no indoor living <laughs> but i don't know are we doing this again when yeah <laughs> a few moments later We have so many different plans and things that we wanted to do and I don't know if you can tell by the sound of what's happening but it is pouring in here. Uh, it is the rain season and I guess we just got lucky with the weather yesterday and also this morning when it was just hot but the rain kind of took over a few hours ago and it's just been wild ever since and we're kind of literally just staying in our little shed or tent or whatever you want to call it. I am. Um, this is kind of my part of the house and this is the other member of the house laying there and this is literally all we have right now and this is our padlock I, mean, I know it's kind of a joke oh actually here you go you can see i can stick my hand out here i don't even have to open the door but um yeah it's it's pouring anyway um more on what's gonna happen hopefully the rain is gonna slow down so we can at least go outside and grab some food if not, looks like we're not eating for the rest of the night and we'll probably just eat tomorrow. And we're out of here tomorrow, unfortunately, because we didn't get to see and do too much that we wanted to. But yeah, pick it up there. So, it is officially our last day here. We didn't get to do as much as we wanted to do because we had plans to come here to go to different islands or different parts of the uh, mainland like San Marcos. We planned to hike a volcano. We planned to do so many things while we were here. And we did absolutely diddly squat. And that's because we had one full day here and on that full day, it rained. So we didn't get to do much, but we did come for one thing mainly and that was for Simas to take a dip in the deepest lake in Central America, Lake Atitlan. And that's what we're about to do right now. How do you feel? Um, pumped? I'm, I don't know if I'm pumped, but I think I'm ready to go. Yeah? Yeah. You think it's gonna be cold? Uh, probably. It's in the morning, so. Yeah. And it rained last night, so I imagine it's probably gonna be kind of cool, but I came this far, I can't not go. So. Right. Okay, let's go do it. <laughs> Whatever we're standing on right now is doing a lot of shaking and I'm scared that I might fall off as well. And I'm also scared for Simis because I never want Simis to do anything at all. If anything, I'll come save you. <laughs> okay guys. The water is kind of rough today, I, I won't lie. But someone else is just took a dive, so I think Simus will be okay. Yeah. One, two, one, two, three. All right, I'm ready now. Uh-huh, go. Edition of a polar plunge? Basically. <laughs> it's not very polar, but. Uh... Alright, I survived. How is it? Out of 10, what do you give it's it? Deep. It's deep? It's oh deep. my god, I'm I glad I didn't go. I didn't touch the bottom, but I felt the 
grass and stuff, mm -hmm. like on my leg, I was like, ah! <laughs> but it was good. Yeah? Yeah, it reminds me of my childhood. I'm proud of you. I guess that was definitely a kind of a scary jump because I did not feel the bottom and it's not that far. It's like literally at the end of the spear. And I don't know, I felt like mangroves and grass and stuff like wrapping around my feet. And I fully expected to touch the bottom because it's really not that far out, but this really is the deepest lake in Central America. I just thought that man, it's the deepest in the middle. I didn't think it's gonna be so deep close to the shore, but I guess you see the boat docked here. It must be pretty steep and deep. So uh, yeah, my um, feeling, definitely a little bit of fear, a little bit of anxiety, but also a lot of excitement. So I'm, I'm ready to go to the next lake whenever that happens. Okay guys, we are saying goodbye to what is it called? Free, free, free cerveza. cerveza. And I'm very happy. And we're never coming back. <laughs> Kudos to the people who really enjoy their time here. Honestly, for forming a community and meeting people, 10, 10 out of 10. The rest of it is questionable. <laughs> right, babe? Oh, yeah. Okay, on to our next adventure. Back to Guatemala City. I never think that I'd be calling it home. I'm really happy though. So we just came to Panahashel where our shuttle will be picking us up but we sat down to eat at this restaurant and it just looks so colorful the decor on the tables already have me look at this so cool okay i need to go find something to eat now before simus gets mad at me it's good it's just not cold but it's good yeah. how could they You don't have to shake everything that you do. No. Okay, I'm not. Good. Oh, the flies are killing our vibe because we ordered fish, so we have to be eating like this Stupid the whole decision. time. <laughs> but the fish is good. It's amazing.